This is how you live stream on TikTok using a dual PC setup. But you can use this method to live stream on multiple platforms at once. To start the video, you are going to need to download OBS and TikTok Live Studio. So you may need a thousand followers on TikTok to download this, but you can get access and sometimes they grant it to you. But I'll put the links in the description if you need them. Once you've clicked the link in the description, it'll take you to this page here. Just press free download for Windows. And then for OBS, just click on Windows or Mac OS, whatever operating system you're running on. Once you've downloaded both of them off Google, the first thing you need to do is double click OBS. Accept the administrator. And then press next. Next. You can change the path location, but I'm just going to keep it as it is. And then press install. Now that that's done, you can just press finish. Once OBS is launched, I recommend pressing optimize for streaming and recording as secondary. Then press next. Keep the base canvas as 1920 by 1080. And then just keep the FPS. If you're on a lower end streaming PC, then put it to 30 FPS. But if you're on like an ultimate PC for streaming, then just keep it at 60. And then for here, we're not going to connect anything at the minute. So we'll just press cancel. So this is what your OBS should look like. In this video, I'm only going to show you how to live stream on TikTok for a dual PC setup. But if you want, want to see how to live stream on multiple platforms like Twitch and YouTube and also on TikTok at the same time, just let me know down below and I'll drop a video ASAP. But for now, we're going to leave this for a minute and we're going to download the TikTok Studio. So now it's basically the same process as OBS. Just double click TikTok Studio. Press yes on the admin. And then you can change the path location again, but I'm just going to keep it as it is. Then once that's done, just press finish. It's going to ask for admin every time you launch the TikTok Studio app. Just grant it yes. Right, I'm going to skip past this part. But all you need to do for this bit is log into TikTok and then I'll show you what to do after. Once you've logged in, you should come to a page like this. Just press set up now. So this process will be the same for everyone, but obviously people have different specs, different mics, everything. I'm currently using my gaming PC to record this video, so my mic won't show up here. But it's the same concept, just select your microphone here. Then press next. And then for your camera settings... We'll change all this in a minute, so we'll just select anything for now, and I'll show you what to do after we've set all this up. It's going to do a speed test, so it puts uh, your bit rate and your frame rate, resolution, everything all set up for you. Once that's done, just press OK. So once it's done the camera settings, it'll bring you to streaming settings. You can leave this by default, or you can change it to what you like. I'm just going to leave it for default for now. Scene settings is personal preference, you can rather stream in landscape or portrait, but I'll show you how to do both in this video. So this is probably what your TikTok studio will look like, but we're going to leave this for now and go back to OBS. Now you've went back to OBS, you won't need any audio, so you can just mute all the audio tracks. And then once you've done that, go to settings. Go to output and change it from simple to advanced. Now that you've done that, I'm going to show you a little tip that you can use to clip your game while you're streaming and it won't use any sort of processing. So what you want to do is go to replay buffer and enable it here. What I recommend doing is changing it to 180 seconds, which is three minutes. Now that you've done this, go to recording and choose a path where you want your videos to record to. Change it from MKV to MP4. Then you can choose to fine tune the rest of these settings in your own time, but for this video... We're just going to show how to stream on TikTok. But for this replay buffer, you will need to go to hotkeys and scroll down and find save replay and bind this to something that's easy to press. And then every time you press that button, it'll clip the last three minutes beforehand of pressing that button. Right, let's get back to the video. Now what you need to do is go to video settings. If you're only streaming on TikTok, it doesn't matter what these settings are because you're not actually going to be recording through OBS. So this won't take up any storage or any processing at all. So max these out as much as you can. Put them at 1920 by 1080 on both output scale and canvas scale and put this to 60 FPS. Because like I said, you're not actually recording through OBS. We're just tricking the system to make it believe that it's a webcam for the TikTok studio. Now that you've pressed apply on that, just press OK. And we'll be back to this page. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show how this works. So we have OBS on one side and TikTok Studio on the other. 
And then basically what we're doing is we're using OBS as a webcam. So we'll put, we can put all of our scenes in here, your animations, your transitions through everything, your webcam. You don't have to complex everything. You can just stream your game and make it believe it's a webcam on TikTok Studio because for some reason you can't use an Elgato capture card and the webcam at the same time on TikTok. So this is why I recommend putting all your sources and scenes on OBS. You could also use your alerts for any other platform and it'll all come through on this screen but then it'll cast over to your TikTok studio and it'll just be seamless. So hopefully I've just done a good job at explaining what we're doing here to make your life a bit easier. If not, just go back in the video and re-watch what we're doing. So what I'm going to do now is I can show you a few things you can do. I recommend going into scenes and changing this to gameplay and then making a new scene and call it you can rather call it blank or starting soon or brb i'll just do brb then in this brb page you can just add an image that will fill the screen so people know you're away it saves doing it all in tiktok studio but for now we're just going to do the gameplay and now what you want to do is assuming that you have an elgato gaming capture you want to press the plus and then go on video capture device and then call that whatever you want. So in here, this is where your capture device will show up. Mine won't be on here because it's on my streaming setup, but just find it through here, press OK, and you can leave all the rest of the settings default. And if it's your gaming capture, you'll want to make sure it's full screen. And let's say you want to add your webcam, so you just go back to video capture device, type in whatever you want to add. And then just select your webcam in here. Obviously, mine's not my webcam, but just imagine this is. And then just resize it to wherever you want because it's going to show up in your TikTok studio exactly the same as what you see on OBS. Now we're basically set up. You don't really need to do much more now if you're just looking to stream your game with a webcam onto TikTok. Obviously, if you know what you're doing on OBS, you can add like filters, you can add like transitions, switching between scenes, like alerts, anything, you name it, you can do it all. But for now, we're just going to show you how to do this. And what you want to do is find Start Virtual Camera and just press OK on there. But you can also turn on that Start Replay buffer if you want to clip your game. This will be running the whole time, but it's not actually recording anything until you press that button. So it's not using many resources in the background. But if you don't want to do that, just leave that out. Now that you've selected Virtual Camera, we're going to go into TikTok Studio. And we're just going to press on Landscape Mode in the top left here. And if you don't have a blank scene here, just press add scene and then press blank. But I've already got one. So now we're just going to go and add source. And this is the part where it starts getting a little complicated. But if you just follow through, you'll get it easily. So we're going to select camera, press add. And then you want to find OBS virtual camera because this is what OBS is doing. It's making TikTok believe that it's a camera that's running. So if we press add source some reason it's tiny you can, if it's small like that you can just right click it go to stretch to screen or center to screen and there we go so now anything we do in obs it'll now do in tiktok studio it's because it now believes that this is our game capture when it's not it's just a camera from obs so like I said before, you've got your game capture and your webcam in OBS. So if you need to do any tweaks like moving your camera or changing scene to a, like, a wide shot of your face, then you do all that in OBS and it'll just show up in TikTok. Now we're basically done with OBS. We can minimize that and just keep it running in the background. Just make sure you don't close OBS completely because you need it running to show your gameplay on TikTok Studio. Now what we're going to do is go through the audio settings and video settings on TikTok Studio. On streaming quality, you can do a speed test and it'll put the settings to whatever your PC and internet connection can handle. So I recommend doing that. But if not, just find Tweak It on here. Once you've done your video settings, come down to the bottom left and click on Audio Mixer. This is where you can add your microphone or separate audio channels. Assuming that you're using something like a Go XLR with multiple audio tracks, you can add them all in here so you can have your microphone, a separate channel for music, Discord, etc. Whatever you'd like. But this is where you add it all. So you just go up here, press add, and then select the track. 
that you want to select. But for now, I'm going to show you a loophole on how to get your game audio to work because you can't select it in one of the audio channels. Unfortunately, the only workaround I've found is you have to add a new source as a capture card and then select anything else that you've not used in here. So just go through them all until it lets you select one. Then go down to your audio capture and I'm assuming that you're using a GoXLR so you'll want to go down and find your game audio. I'll show screenshots of what mine looks like. If you know another workaround for this method, please comment it down below to help other people out because this is the only method I've found to get your game audio to work with a video capture. Now that we've done all this, you're basically ready to live stream now. So just press go live and this is where you can change your cover image, topic, title and you can do it about me. So this is for when people join into your live stream, it gets this message the minute they join in and then you can change these settings down here. But now I'm going to quickly show you how you can live stream in portrait mode. It's basically exactly the same concept. You just need to change it in OBS. Once you're back in OBS, I recommend going to scene collections and renaming this to landscape and creating a new one and calling it portrait. Because now it makes a whole new blank canvas. What you will need to do is turn off virtual camera so we can go in the settings. Go to video. And change this so it's the complete opposite. So change it from 1920 by 1080 to 1080 by 1920. Just like this. So now it's 1080 by 1920 as a 9 to 16 ratio. Then just press apply and OK. And it'll show up like this. Unfortunately, it does delete the scenes and sources. But all you need to do is go back to video capture and re-add them back. Now you've added your gameplay and your webcam. What I recommend doing is putting your gameplay at the bottom and your webcam above it. Obviously, if you don't have a webcam, then just full screen your game. Now, just remember to press virtual camera and it'll show up in your TikTok studio. And again, just go to TikTok studio, press add scene, camera, and then select OBS virtual camera. And it'll show up in here. Just resize it to full screen. And everything shown in OBS will show up in TikTok again. And that's how you stream in portrait mode. And this is what it'll look like once you've got your gameplay and your webcam set up through OBS and selected the virtual camera. Unfortunately, if you want to switch back to landscape, you do have to change the resolution every time on OBS. But it's just a quick flip. So 1920 by 1080 for landscape and then... 1080 by 1920 for portrait. This is how you like live stream on TikTok using the for GLPC setup. If you need any help so on any other tutorials, this is how you live stream on TikTok using the GLPC setup. So you can use this method to laugh.